Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Welcome to story time this Saturday. My name is Sabina, and this is Kai, and we will be reading some stories for you today. I hope everyone is having a lovely Ramadan. I have a selection of stories for us today, and we will read a few of them. And then Kai is also going to read a story for us. And please, if any of you would like to participate, um, unmute yourselves and join us and answer my questions. And this is meant to be fun. And I hope that you haven't read any of these stories before. The first story I'm going to read today is about Prophet Adam. Adam and God's creation. I picked this story because this week was Earth Day and we were remembering the environment. And I just think that this is a great story about how everything started. So if we're ready, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim, Adam and God's Creation, written by Khadija Kaki, illustrated by Tashna Saleem. As the day broke and the sun awoke, the animals scrambled and joked. From among the leaves, a mouse sneezed and a toad croaked. Roar, said the lion from behind a tree. See how fierce I can be. Hmm, said the giraffe, look at me. I'm towering higher than you can see. Bleep, cried the ostrich. Look how I can dance and prance. Grrr, growled the gorilla. I have a coat that's soft and fluffy. A wise old owl sighed as he watched them play. Does everyone know how to do a sigh? <sighs> I know what story I need to teach these young animals. Little friends, come huddle around this tree. I have a story to share with some important lessons for you. The young animals ran over to a shaded spot and eagerly waited to hear the story's plot. The old bird flossed his teeth, shined his beak, then finally began to speak. Do you ever wonder how we all came to be? Oh, these are so funny, the giraffe says. I know, we came from outer space. You're silly, we're not aliens. We were delivered by storks, obviously. You're all wrong. We came from magic fairy dust. Are any of these animals right? Actually, all things started from God and what he willed them to be. First, he created the heavens, the earth, and everything in between. Then came the creation of Adam the first man, something never been seen. Adam lived in the heavens, a most extraordinary place, full of rivers and gardens, a beautiful space. <gasps> wow, says the giraffe. That sounds so cool, says the hippo. And the little frog on top says, I heard heavens out of this world. Adam and his wife Hawa had everything they pleased until Iblis convinced them to eat from the forbidden tree. From that point on, man was sent to the earth to live their best life and prove to God their worth. And there's the earth, the planet earth. That's America right there, South America. We've got the clouds and the weather the moon and the sun, the stars. 
God scattered the earth with reminders of his blessings for all to see, like the mountains, the seasons, and the vast open seas. I feel like in Austin, we've seen all of these recently. Snow, sun, no vast open seas yet, though. Even you and me are reminders of God's blessings. And the animals say, even me, and me, and me. Yes, even you and me. God made everything that you see in every shape, color, and size. All were created equal in God's eyes. Sure. I, I know the story of the prophet Adam. You do? Is this the way that you've heard it before? Not this way, but a different way. But I've learned a lot of prophets like Muhammad, Nuh, and Yunus, and maybe not Ibrahim. Well, I'm glad that you know this story, and half, I hope halfway, Ibrahim. That's so great, and hopefully you'll know some of the stories that I'm going to be reading next. Then, okay, I'm going to get back to finishing this story. Thank you for your comments. Everything was created unique, like the birds, the animals, and the trees. This is my favorite picture in the whole book. But we cannot succeed without helping each other. So let's be friends with one another as we live in this world together. For each one of us is as beautiful as the other. The end. And this is the back of the book. And it says, do you ever wonder how we all came to be? And see the animals right there. So this is the story of Prophet Adam. And we're going to take a little break from my voice to listen to Kai, and he's going to read us a story next. Today I'm going to be reading Nazira's Dusty. When Nazira is happy, she remembers her Tuspi, Subhanallah. When Nazira is sad, she remembers her Tuspi, Ya Ali Matad. When Nazira is excited, she remembers her Tuspi, Shukran Allah Walhamdulillah. Do we see her sad and excited? When Nazira is scared, she remembers her Tasbi. Ya Allah. When Nazira falls asleep, she feels safe and she remembers her Tasbi. Ya Ali Madad. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Muhammad, Ya Ali. What is she doing right here? Is she falling asleep? The end. <laughs> Thank you, Kai, for your story. The next story we have is related to Ramadan and it's related to, in my opinion, the most fun part, Eid Mubarak. And this one is called My Eid Mubarak Storybook. It's written by Oma Naki. I hope I said his name right. What I love about this is at the end, the illustrator has a picture of him with his children. And he's actually written this book for his children. So. For my Bebo, Nana, and Coco, Eve Mubarak. 
And this story has a number of guests. I celebrate Eid. Celebrate Eid? Me too. I love Eid Mubarak. So this has a lot of different sections and I'm going to read just a few of them for us today and hopefully you can get a copy of this book. Iman and Inaya get ready for Eid with Nora. Hi, my name is Iman and this is my little sister Inaya. We are both so excited that Eid is coming up. We love Eid because we wear beautiful new clothes and bangles. My favorite color is pink. And Inaya's favorite color is blue. Can you help us pick out our Eid clothes? Hi, do you know which one would be Iman's outfit? She said her favorite color was pink. This one? Yeah. And what about Inaya? The blue one. And I wonder who the other one is going to be for. Can you help us choose our matching bangles? Thank you for helping us with our Eid outfits. Now we are ready for the big Eid party. Do you know what you are wearing for Eid this year? Has anyone thought of their outfits yet? Probably shawar kameez. I love shawar kameez. Do you have a favorite color? I don't. You don't? Well, that means you can wear any colors. This Eid is very special for us because we are celebrating it with our new baby sister, Nora. Nora is too little to wear bangles or get henna. We can't wait until she's a bit older so we can all have fun together on Eve. I guess that little yellow one could be for Nora. Eve Mubarak from Amina and Kasim. Hello, I'm Amina and this is my baby brother Kasim. He is only two years old, so he is learning how to talk. Eid is coming soon, so I am teaching him how to say Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak means my brother, heaven. My brother is too. He is? So this book must be good for him too. Eid Mubarak means have a happy and blessed Eid. Can you help me to teach Qasim how to say Eid Mubarak? Whoever's online, if you want to unmute, we can do it together. One, two, three. Eve Mubarak. Good job. I am sure with a little practice, he will learn to say it in no time. From our family to yours, we wish you Eve Mubarak. This is Mikhail, and his parents are teaching him about Eve. On Eve Day, you you greet everyone you meet by wishing them Eid Mubarak and giving them three hugs. Look at Mikhail giving a big Eid hug to his new friend, Amir. Can you help us count the hugs? One, two, two three. three. Great, we love getting hugs on Eid. Make sure you also give hugs to your friends and family on Eid. The ones that are in your house, because we have to social distance right now. But generally, we can do Eid Mubarak hugs to those in our household. But and this, I, I, I celebrate Eid with my cousins during Corona still. You do? Well, then you can yeah. do your free hugs. What? You can give your hugs to them too. I know. Okay. And this is another part of Eid getting ready with all the treats. And this is Amna and Aisha. Amna and Aisha love to make, love to help their mom in the kitchen, especially on Eid because they love making yummy Eid treats. Amna's favorite food on Eid is kebabs for lunch. And Aisha loves to have kheer, which is called, which is another way to say rice pudding for dessert. 
the neighbors, Zach, Kyle, and Nisha love Eve too because they come over and get to eat all the yummy Eve treats. Their brother Zia wants to help too, but he's just a baby and makes a big mess in the kitchen. He loves to eat and is waiting for his food to be ready. Amna and Aisha serve him food and tell him to say Bismillah before he starts eating. Can you say Bismillah? Can you say it with us? Bismillah. Good job. We should always say Bismillah before we eat our food. We hope you also enjoy all the delicious food on Eid. I, I say a dua. You say a dua? That's great. And if we don't have time to say a dua, we can always say Bismillah. Now we heard about henna from the other section and these are some henna designs. This is Elena and Anya's first time getting henna on Eve. It's also called Mimi. They are both so excited. Elena asks her friend Anya to help her pick a design. All designs are so nice. What a tough decision. Should she get a butterfly? Or a heart? Or flowers. Thank you for helping Elena decide. Look how pretty their hands look. Their friends at school loved Elena and Anya's henna design. Next time their friends Phoebe and Marina also want to get henna and join the Eid celebrations. Zara and Arza spot the moon. After sunset, Zara went outside and looked up at the sky. Her sister asked her what she was looking for in the sky. Isa asked, are you looking for a kite? No one is flying a kite today. Zara shook her head. No. Nope. Isa asked, are you looking for a plane in the sky? I can help you look. Zara shook her head. Nope. Isa said, I know. You are looking for a star to make a wish. Zara again shook her head. Nope. Isa asked, Then what are you looking for? Zara and Isa's parents also came outside and started to look up at the sky. They explained. Little Isa, your sister Zara is looking for the Eve moon. It is a very special moon. That means Ramadan has ended and tomorrow we can celebrate Eve. When Zara and Isa spotted the moon, they jumped with excitement and then raised their hands to say a prayer. And we just heard what that's called, a dua. They prayed for a wonderful Eve and a year full of happiness, joy, and blessings for all. Have you ever tried to spot the, the Eve moon? In some books, it's also called the Ramadan moon. Here is a special Eve gift from me to you, your Evie. What will you do with your Evie? See, he's getting Eve. Eve. In our language, it's rubies. Rubies? And what's your language? Urdu. Urdu. Thank you for sharing that. I don't know many languages. But I just learned a new one today. So if any of you would like to stay online, Kai is going to read us one more quick story. Um, and it's called Amin's Garden. Amin's Garden. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
In Amin's garden, the creator is at work. Amin sees one sun shine, two birds chirp, three bunnies hop, four apples, apples hanging. Five frogs leaps. Five frogs leap. Six ants march. Seven ladybugs crawl. Eight sunflowers bloom. Nine butterflies, ten bees buzz. In Amin's garden, the creator is at work. Me, the end. <laughs> Well, we hope you had a lovely weekend so far and you enjoyed story time today and that you remember the environment and Allah's creation and you have a great rest of your Ramadan. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone.